Are you looking for a better sound from your smartphone videos? The Comica CVM VS08 might be your answer. In this Gadget Talk video, we'll be taking a look at the Comica CVM VS08 mini shotgun mic for smartphones. The VS08 kit includes the microphone, a clamp, a foam wind protector, and a furry dead cat type wind protector. It's a condenser mic with a cardioid pickup pattern. As a condenser mic, it gets its power from the phone itself. Both the pro and the con to this little shotgun mic is that it connects directly to the phone with a 3.5 millimeter plug that extends from the middle of the mic tube. The pro is that it makes for a light, compact camera to shoot with. The con is that if your phone's camera is on the same end of the phone as the phone's earphone jack, the mic will be in the picture, as you'll see in a minute. The other pro is that it sounds very good, especially for a $50 microphone. As you'll hear in the sample videos, you'll need the dead cat when shooting outside. Even a small amount of wind will overpower the microphone. On the other hand, with the dead cat attached, a gentle wind will almost entirely disappear. The foam cover is good for inside shots as a pop filter. Another nice feature of the VS08 is the headphone jack at the rear of the mic. This allows you to play back your video without removing the microphone. Just plug in some earphones and you're good to go. Depending on your recording app, you might also be able to monitor recording as it occurs. Here's the retail box that the Comica CVM VS08 smartphone microphone comes in. Pretty typical retail packaging. But what's important is inside, so let's take a look. Inside the box is this clear plastic tray that's got some paperwork, an owner's manual, warranty registration, and then a clear plastic tray that holds the device itself, which includes the microphone, microphone clamp, and a, and a foam, plas uh, foam windsock. Let's get them out of there. The other thing that was in the box was this um, furry dead cat or dead mouse kind of windsock to go over the, the microphone. And that's a pretty nice uh, um, addition to this particular product because if you're out in the wind, these microphones do pick up wind sounds pretty easily. So we've got the microphone. It's pretty firm on the back. You see it's got a, a 3.5 millimeter plug that if you're going to play your video back, you can listen to it without pulling the microphone off the phone. The microphone end, it's aluminum, it feels like, and it's pretty sturdy. The foam uh, windsock you can use basically all the time, but especially outside, um, and that gives you just some deadening of the sound on the microphone's end um, when you're recording. And then the last piece is the clip for the uh, microphone, and it basically goes on this, this side right here. Just push it over it, and then that moves back and forth to clamp it on to the phone, which marks, uh, mounts right here. So let's take a look at how this mounts on a smartphone. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the little rubber keeper on the uh, barrel of the microphone uh, at the end with the little uh, monitor plug and pull that back. This is the end with this, the sound receiving barrel. Um, this is um, a Galaxy S8 that says that it works fine with iOS or Android devices. So in this case, we'll just take this, plug it into the three and a half inch or the three and a half millimeter jack and then we're going to slide this little keeper against the camera case in this case. And so in this direction, we, we would be using the rear cam or the front facing camera to do the selfie shot. So the camera is, you know, down here on this particular camera. To use it using the rear facing camera, we just slide it back, twist it around, push it back tight.
and now the microphone is facing forward if you were using the screen here for example as your viewfinder for uh, your camera. Now the thing to note with Android devices is that on the S8 the camera is on the opposite side of the mic uh, input which gives the view um, if you were to do the angles out for this wide angle camera the, the microphone would be out of view even with the uh, foam mount or the uh, you know, the furry dead cat on it. Um, where you run into trouble is with some of the other Android devices, and let me show you that. In this case, I have an older Galaxy S5, and the camera and the 3.5 millimeter headphone or uh, jack is at the same end. And so it works the same way. You plug it in, and then you push it down but now, because the camera is right here, the chances are pretty good that you're going to have a bit of the microphone in the video that you shoot. And so I'll throw a sample in at the back of this review to, to show you what I mean by that. And so if you're dealing with an Android device, you want to make sure that one, you're either going to use uh, only the selfie side, or if you're going to use um, the main view, you want an Android device with a center mounted camera or like the Galaxy S8, a camera op opposite of the, um, the plug. The following examples will show you a comparison of the wind filters, the phone with and without the VS08, and offer a quick demo of the sound pickup pattern for this little microphone. I did no processing to the audio. Besides some cuts and trims to the video, it's just like it came out of the Galaxy S8. Let's take a look. Okay, we're out with the Comico microphone. It's kind of a hot, bright day, just a hint of a breeze. Right now I've got the microphone pointed at me and it's only about 10 inches from my mouth. I've got it pointed backwards as I'm using the rear-facing camera on my uh, on my smartphone. So let me take and turn that around here just a little bit and we'll show you what it looks like when the microphone is facing forward. In this case we've got a little breeze, the dead cat on the microphone, and we're using the rear-facing camera just to get some ambient sound. So I'm using the front-facing camera on my uh, smartphone and the uh, the Comico mic is facing toward me. It's uh, you know eight to ten inches away from my mouth, just you know a gentle arm's length away. And I'm turning around. I've got a little wind blowing through the dead cat that's on the microphone right now. Let me change that out. This is front of it so uh, hopefully you can hear the noise of the, wind, the difference between that and the dead cat the wind isn't any stronger it's just the covering is gone now let me put the foam covering on it okay and so now the foam covering is on the microphone again in the kind of the selfie mode with the uh, front facing camera out here in the the green belt behind my home and uh, just a little breeze you know three or four miles per hour um, blowing toward the microphone and uh, so hopefully you'll get a sense of the kind of attenuation that you'll get with the microphone in um, with both the dead cat and with the foam wind cover on it okay here we are in selfie mode again this time without the mic this is the, the cell phone's microphone that you're hearing uh, there's an airplane flying overhead and there's just a little bit of breeze um, so you can see how this compares to the to the other mic. In this clip I'm going to spin the camera around in a 360 degree type of uh, motion to give you a sense of the mic's attenuation to the side and to the rear of the microphone. So we'll start with the microphone just facing me as I talk and spin it around. I'll keep talking as we turn the camera. We're just turning it around now it's 180 degrees out. Now it's 90 degrees out. Now it's coming back to the point where it's facing me again. And there's a little breeze. Okay, here's an example of an Android device that has the plug and the camera on the same end. As you can see in the top part of the uh, picture, 
the little foam windscreen is visible in the photo, which is one of the drawbacks of this type of microphone with those devices that have the um, earphone at the top of the, of the case or at the same end of the case that the camera is in. Uh, when I had the dead cat on it, you couldn't see it at all. It completely covered the camera's lens. The way you can get around that, of course, is just to simply zoom the picture a little bit. And about the time you get the picture zoomed to about two, um, the little um, black corner uh, will disappear from view. Are we ready? Yeah. Take it off. Overall, I was impressed with the Comica CVM VS08. Several reviewers compared it favorably with a similar Rode model. For about $15 less, I'd recommend that you give it a try. Now for a caveat. When using my Galaxy S8 with the Zhiyun SmoothQ 3-axis stabilizer, I ended up with the mic on the same side as the gimbal arm, and things didn't fit well. I could slide the phone out a bit, but the mic ended up pointing down at about 45 degrees. If I reverse the phone in the gimbal mount, the mic's extra weight on the end of the phone was enough to keep me from balancing the combo of the phone and the mic on the gimbal, and the motors weren't powerful enough to hold the phone level in this out-of-balance state. I've got a Comica CVM VS10 with a cold shoe mount on order to see if I can use it to solve the balance and arm interference problem. On the other hand, when using a simple hand grip style phone mount, a selfie stick, or just my fingers, the direct attachment of the phone and the mic was perfect. As I said earlier, and I hope you heard for yourself, the sound was quite satisfactory. Hey, if you found this review helpful, please click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.